Hello guys and welcome to another review from Severquit. I'm the master, uh, this is my uh, partner Arvensis and we are here to show you um, the co-op gameplay of Portal Knights, a uh, early access game on Steam that recently came out of it and so it is complete. So, first of all we wanted to show you how the game works and the crafting works and the basic game mechanics are. So, uh, this is our little outpost here. And I will show you uh, what the main crafting things are. So this is the, the portal. Uh, each world has one of these portals. So when you travel between worlds, uh, because as you can see on the map, there are many different worlds with many different biomes like uh, desert, forest, uh, plains, uh, palm, uh, palm trees. Uh, this one is ice fields. And each of the maps has different materials and enemies. As you can see here, enemies. Um, resources and uh, minerals. Uh, there are different minerals in each place. Uh, you can see as soon as it loads. Uh, okay, this is not running. Uh, this one, like, okay, many different things. So, basic uh, gameplay. Uh, you have an inventory in this game, which is pretty full at the moment because we just came back from uh, a world. Yes. Uh, uh, and a toolbar, like uh, in the most classic uh, uh, Minecraft-like games. So, items have durability, as you can see, the, the, the bar below my wand is decreasing as I, I shoot, um, I've broken a wall, and, uh, but there are items that can restore it, like the sharpening stones. Yeah, repair the wall, thank you. Uh, okay, then, uh, this this thing, uh, floating thing, is the uh, mob spawn denial zone. It uh, basically doesn't allow monsters to spawn in my base. And uh, here are, uh, are the storage crates. Some are iron, which are more, uh, 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 which has more space, and some are wood, which have less space but are cheaper to craft. Um, so basically, these are the five crafting uh, benches of this game. We have the altar where we can do uh, all the magic related stuff, you see, um, altar, uh, great stuff of ice, wand, great stuff of lightning, uh, armors, <laughs> wither stuff, sorcerer stuff, <coughs> and also craft skills, fireball, recklessness, healing, and all sorts of skills. Each thing will require a certain amount of resources detailed here. And you can craft the resources from the menu. Each uh, crafting bench will craft different resources, as you can see. And resources are stored inside crates. There are many types of these, as you can see. Ingredients and blocks as well. So then there is the anvil, same thing, but the crafts warrior stuff. You see, iron, mace, great sword, hammers, and so on. Uh, and uh, armors and uh, also trinkets that give you special traits okay then we have the furnace to smelt stuff actually i'm gonna use this now to make gold bars coal and gold ore i need more coal uh okay mm. no where's my fucking coal ah give me the coal thank you thank you nice Okay, let's make a lot, bunch of gold bars, we will need them. Okay, we are out of coal. Hmm. We will get some later. Uh, then there is the workbench to do basic crafting stuff. And also potions. Uh, Alright, and uh, tools like drills, sharpening stones, pickaxes and so on. And there is the... Uh, oh, what? Oh, yes. Uh, right. And there is this one, which is um, a project table to do um, aesthetic uh, uh, decorations like wardrobes, bookcases, um, nice stand doors, and, and so on. Okay. There is a recipe system in this game. Like, you drop a recipe and you learn it. I don't have any at the moment, but you just put it in the bar and click and use it, uh, basically. Uh, 
A uh, tool uh, very useful tool in this game is this one, the arcane compass. It is a normal compass, but when activated, it will point you to the nearest portal. Because when you go in a new world, there is uh, a new portal that is not activated yet, I will show you later. And you have to activate it in order to progress and go to another portal. There is <coughs> plant farming, as you can see, we have here uh, our, our uh, plantations of uh, various... Uh, Foods, foods and uh, materials that we will need to craft potions uh, of like mana, health, and also uh, as consumable to restore our, our uh, health points. On the top left there is uh, the hearts, which are the health points, and the blue is the mana point. There is also an attribute system in this game, as you can see, constitution, strength, agility, dexterity, wisdom, intellect. Uh, and they do different things. I'm a mage, so a bit of constitution to not get one-shotted, and wisdom and intelligence. There are talents which unlock uh, every five levels, and uh, uh, you can choose them freely at any time. I am damage build and wand. Okay, uh, then. Our furnace is finished. We can pick the material from here, and now we use it to upgrade. Need wood, take wood from here. My inventory is full. My helper will sort out all the stuff. Yeah, sort out this, this stuff, please. I will give out this. A bit of this. Okay. Okay, enough space now. Let's take the wood. And I will show you upgrading. Upgrading is very simple. You go here, upgrade. Ah, oh, sea sapphires. Give me the sea sapphires, please. Okay, she suffers, upgrade, and then it's working, it will take a while. Upgrade the anvil. Ah, yeah, that was what was the anorthosite stone block for. Yeah, we have that somewhere. Um, yeah, we have that somewhere. No, it's refined. No, this is not good. We need the uh, raw one, not the refined one. Take it back. Uh, we will find it later. Uh, this with an upgrade, yes. And upgrading will unlock new recipes for our uh, benches. Now, I don't know what we unlock because I, I did not, uh, never, I never seen this. Diamonds. Mm, never found this. Mm. Then let's see what we can do. Hmm. This light elemental damage. Mm, nice, uh, nice, nice. Gun, cultist, uh, sun diamond, and silk cloth. Uh -huh. Okay, sun diamonds then we need. Healing 3. Frost mine 2. Light bomb. Planetary strike. Targets an area for an explosion, war cry, yeah. Okay, well, there is a lot to do. Let's put it on the anvil what we can do. Yeah, as you can see, new uh, types of weapon. Uh, some uh, uh, things also have uh, unique traits, like mm, this one. Anchor. Restore uh, after uh, hitting an enemy, or uh, again, this must have aggressor. And there are unique traits for each uh, set of equipment. Uh, let's see what we can do at the hunting bench. Uh, yeah, I yeah gold lumber pickaxe, golden pickaxe. Uh, golden pickaxe is good. I will take one. Okay, there is not enough gold for you. Sorry. Um, so golden pickaxe here. Nice. Okay, so this is basically how the crafting works. Um, now we will go to a portal and. Uh, we will show you a bit of the combat and exploration. Ready for travel? Okay, nice. Uh, as you can see, we explored much already. Let's go here at the last world we have discovered. Travel. It will take you five seconds to travel and you can do it from anywhere. Now we go. The enemies of this place uh, we just uh, discovered are very strong, so we will show you how the real combat is. 
Now let's wait for the loading. <coughs> Doesn't take much. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. Level 21, as you can see, we are level 17, so a bit harder. So, this, the combat base is based both on uh, basic attacks, like these, in my case, or uh, Ravensi's attack for the hammer, yeah, like that. And skills, like uh, Majors as spells, like Fireball or Ice Mine. They consume mana, as you can see, but they have a lot of potions. Okay, now we will show you how the combat works. Uh, the combat is based on a lock-on system. Wait, too far, yeah. Uh, lock-on system. And then you attack the enemy. Deploy mines, and with shift, you dodge. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I take that. Wow. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, okay, we got them. Okay, we got them. Yeah, the combat is uh, quite quick in this game, uh, fast-paced. You have to uh, know the attacks of the enemy and uh, uh, dodge accordingly. The enemy uh, of level, level higher than you will hurt a lot. And you will need better armor and equipment once you get to a new biome. Like in this case, you've seen even a few enemies were very dangerous to us. This, uh, the mineral gathering works uh, uh, like in any uh, in any game of this type. You go around and you see materials and you gather them. Uh, yes, materials can give portal stone shards that uh, are used to build the portal blocks to activate new portals. To know where the new portals are, you use this, the arcane compass. You see, it's pointing two directions, it means there are two portals. Yeah, there is one over there. But a bunch of enemies is in the way. Hey, arrange this, I come, we go uh, to the portal and activate it now. Okay, let, let's dodge these enemies for now. But let's take this chili. Okay, let's jump over here. Whoa. Okay. Now, activate the portal. She has the, the blocks, not me. In, in inventory, I'll cover you. As you see, now the portal is active. And from the map, we have another zone. As you can see. What resources we will give, we don't know. Uh, actually, I'm, I want to go to this zone now to see what is inside. You don't know anything, you just know, go and uh, there is a great sense of discovery because you don't know what materials or enemies or quests so you will get there. There are also NPCs which give quests, but they are quite rare. And uh, we don't find them. There are dungeons now, if you find a dungeon we go inside and we will show you. Okay, let's wait for the loading. The fact that it loads uh, after every word that it, it's not uh, uh, without loading is a bit uh, annoying sometimes, but uh, it's bearable. I guess that with these graphics, which are, as you can see, they are better than uh, most of the games of this type. Uh, the, if they did a, a whole world with no loadings, it would have been very heavy. Okay, let's see, let's see what this gives. Yeah. What's that? Huh? Okay, I don't know what's that. What? Uh, uh. Ghost Summer. What are these? Uh, what are these? These things? White slime. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's awful. 
Night of stars, yeah. They, they, they must be li light of light element. Uh huh. Baroque nice then, yeah, you can find recipes sometimes. Let's see what materials we got here. Magenta berry bush, wonder crystal, sun diamond, coal, marble block, yes, sun diamond, very good. We need that for the new tire of skills. So we will get and find it. To find materials more easy, we have a tool which you don't have from the beginning, but you have at a certain point you can craft it, which is this. Uh, tool is like uh, a stuff that uh, uh, tells you where the materials are like the more the ring uh, gets small the more the nearer you are to a rare material let's try going down here and yes in fact we found the sun crystal here the sun diamonds mm. interesting okay now we will re then refine them and use them uh, as powder or refined crystals as uh, it needs. Hmm. There's a house, let's go and see what we have here. Oh, cool. Okay. Ah, look. Some fancy stuff, yeah. We usually take everything from the houses. Yeah, let's see what's in the top floor. Ah, an NPC. Oh. Okay. Immortal gold is the new type of uh, wand we have to do. And... Uh, he asked us to do one for him, to make one for him. So as soon as we got enough materials, we'll come back here for a big chunk of experience. You, quests are rare, but usually are very rewarding in this game, yes. Um, yeah, let's get these lines out of the way. Yeah, that, that guy doesn't look friendly, does he? All right. Now we will set off to search sun diamonds. Here we have one. You need many to do a dust or a refined one, so we will need a bunch of these. But now I wanted to really find a dungeon. Now let's see if we can find one, yeah? Daylight is coming. Okay. See the result. Ah, it, this place is a, a dome of, of some kind. Cool. Very cool. I think this is it. This is the only thing. Okay. Ah, plant. Magenta berries. Ah, nice. Let's see what is inside this cave system. Interesting. Oh, that's that's pretty damn deep. Yeah. What a very interesting biome this one. Yes. And I easily get lost here. Oh, eh, yeah, this is a dungeon. This is a dungeon. That's 
make our entry. Yes. And now we go, we get in. Wow. Alright. Let's proceed. Oh, we already got to the treasure chamber. That's, that's lucky. Gotta get it. Right, right, right. Oh, a lot of stuff, a lot of experience. Level up. Nice. Now we can modify our attributes. Yes. Talent, not new. What did it drop? Oh. Okay. Nothing special. Why does its life regenerate? Oh, okay. Now it works. Let's get this stuff, this crap off. As you see, my wand is broken, but now I repair it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I am a mage of lightning, and these guys don't do much to me. I can regenerate the health. But not always. Okay. Nice. Oh. So this was dungeon, a standard dungeon. Ah, there are multiple treasure, there can be multiple treasure chests, which give a lot of experience in dungeons, so it's always worth it to do it, um, especially if you need to level up quick, like we do. Ah, yes, this game also has water physics, Let's, let me, let me show an example of this. Um, um, okay. There's blocks, like, let's just make it here. Yeah, as you can see, if we do a hole here. Ah, yeah, you can switch to first person if you want. If we do a hole, the water is going down, as you can see, and the other water is not coming in, but if we break, we get the water to flow in and uh, slowly fill the, the gap so the, the water physics are uh, realistic and well made in my opinion as you can see if we do this the water fucks up and goes everywhere yeah now better get moving and leave this place maybe if we find the exit uh, okay so uh, hmm. Okay, how much gold uh, do we have on diamonds? Hmm? Okay, let's try to make our way out of this dungeon and get to the surface. Okay, let's go. Where did we, Where did we get in from? Hmm. Ah, here. Yeah, okay, let's, let's go back to the surface. Nice. <coughs> hmm. Wow, well, now that it's day, much better place. Hmm. Some mobs spawn only in day and some only in the night. Gussamer, I want to know what this Gussamer is. I've seen that around. Well, I guess it's important. Okay. Now we'll try to get some more uh, diamonds. And then we go to the base to do the new loot. type of material here huh APM are you full 
What is out? Yeah, I am full for sure. Refined Moon Opal. Ah, wow. This is new. This I've never seen before. I guess it's a rare drop for some mobs. Some mobs can drop uh, minerals of tears above yours, but it's very rare. Sometimes it happens if you're lucky. We can't use those anyway now. Hmm. Yeah, these these some crystals are very rare. Now we found some here. Nice. And when we have enough, we will do the immortal gold for the guy and give it to him. I want it for myself, really, but... Never go back from a quest. Yeah, when you hear this sound, it means you're uh, digging uh, on the uh, void uh, on the end of the map and so it means a warning or you will fall off if you are on that block you will fall down the map if you die in this game you lose a percentage of your money which in the money can use uh, be used as traders to buy stuff traders are very rare in this game uh, and uh, you don't lose any items which is a bit different from other games, you don't lose items, but you, you only lose money, yeah. Okay, obsidian block, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I think we have enough to do something to the immortal gold, so now, map, we go back to the base. Travel. Huh? Okay, let's wait. Mm. Right, here we are. Okay. So, let's see what we need do this immortal gold hmm. three gold bars um, which I think we have already no two we have um, need some coal uh, 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 okay gold 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 one gold bar we need we need three well let's put everything to, to yeah okay, let's get one so um, then we need uh, six sun diamond dusts. Uh, we should do that. just ten to the one. Wow. Okay. Uh, do you need the sun diamonds? Okay. Okay. Apparently, these. Uh, Sun diamonds uh, have a terrible conversion rate, so we will need uh, 30 uh, other diamonds. Well, I think we are not getting that one anytime soon. Uh, well, uh, I think this is all for our review. Uh, we've shown you the basic gameplay, the crafting, and the combat, and the exploration. Um, there is not much else to see in this game unless you go do a boss. We already done two bosses and we cannot repeat the fight. So we cannot show you them. Uh, the bosses are quite good and quite difficult. They are uh, interesting fights. I will not want to spoil you anything. Um, so, uh, definitely, this game has a pretty nice graphical makeup. has a few bugs, but nothing serious. Uh, it is uh, good if you're a fan of Minecraft or all these exploration and crafting games. This is not just a Minecraft clone like many other games, but it adds new mechanics and uh, a very good take on combat, which is, in my opinion, better than most games of this type. Uh, I suggest it to you. 
uh, because it's a decent game, not a spectacular game or an excellent game. Uh, if you want to know more, read our review on saverquid.com and see you next time.